This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I import clothing created in Marvel's Designer into ZBrush and make it sculptable? So here I just have a dress here that was exported out of Marvel's Designer as an OBJ, and then just loaded into ZBrush. Now if I turn on my polyframes here, you can see that this mesh at its current state is not going to be friendly for sculpting. So right now the model consists entirely of triangles. It is single-sided, so you can see that none of the areas on the mesh here has any back facing. And if you zoom into this area through here, you're going to notice there's a lot of edges that are connected to multiple polys. So a lot of non-manifold edges on this mesh. So in order to sculpt on this and work with it inside a ZBrush here, we need to clean up these areas first before we can go and add different details or different things we want on the model. So how can we go by doing that? So the first thing we need to do is first break out all these geometry islands into polygroups. So I'm going to navigate to the tool palette over here. I'm going to open up this polygroups tab, and I'm simply going to click auto groups. Now, after this has been applied, ZBrush has went through and established new polygrouping for every single geometry island. So this is going to allow you to see any areas of the model that are not connected together. So as you'll notice, the top part of the dress, this middle part of the dress, and this bottom part of the dress are all geometry islands. So at this point, we can go through and look at our model and decide if we want any of these to be connected before we go to the next step. So at this point, we probably want the top part of the dress and this middle part of the dress to be connected together so we don't have a seam running through the middle here. And then we can leave this lower part of the dress here as its own separate object. So to do that, we just need to make this top part and this middle part the same polygroup. So I'm going to first hide the bottom area of the dress here by simply holding Control and Shift and clicking to isolate it, and then holding Control and Shift again and clicking to hide it. So now I'm just left with that top part of the dress. Now after I have just this part visible, I can come through and just apply one single polygroup. So to do this, I can hit Control w on my keyboard, or I can navigate over here to the Polygroups tab over here and simply click Group Visible. Now after that has a new polygroup, I just need to bring back the other part of the dress. So I'm going to hold Control and Shift again and simply click in an empty part of the canvas, and that will bring the other area of the dress back. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to split these two parts of the dress out to different subtools. So I'm going to navigate to the Subtool menu here. I'm going to come down to the Split area and simply click Group Split. That's going to take each of those polygroups and then split them off into new subtools. So now I have the bottom part of the dress and the top part of the dress. So now that I have the model broken up how I want it broken up, now I can start focusing on cleaning up the geometry here and adding thickness to each of these subtools. So to clean up the geo, it's pretty simple. Just need to make sure you have a subtool selected, navigate to the geometry tab here, and then open up the Z Remesher tab. Now Z Remesher is going to go through and look at the details on your model and apply new topology across the entire surface. This process works really well for any clothing you may import into ZBrush from other applications. So you just need to come over here and simply click Z Remesher. Now after this is done, you're going to notice that Z Remesher has gone through and applied quad geometry across the entire surface. So now that we have new topology on that, we just need to add thickness. So to do this, we can navigate here to our brush palette and locate the Z Modeler brush and simply click it there. Or we can hit B on our keyboard, isolate by the letter Z, and then click M to select the Z Modeler brush. Now with the Z Modeler brush selected, if we hover over a poly and then press spacebar, we're going to get the Z Modeler poly menu. And in here we want to change our target from a single poly to all polygons. So this is going to tell ZBrush that when we apply this Q mesh action, we want to apply to all the polygons of our current mesh. So now if I come back to my model, hover over poly, and simply click and drag, it's going to apply that Q mesh action to the entire subtool here, which is going to give that entire model thickness. So now you can see I have a dress with nice quadded geometry, and it also has thickness around all the edges. So that process again, I'm just going to come over here and select the bottom part of the mesh here is to first navigate to the geometry panel and simply run Z Remesher. 
which will change the topology to all quads there. And then with the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a poly and simply click and drag, and that will apply the Q Mesh action to that all polygons target and give you thickness to that entire area. So that is how you get your model to a stage like so. And now you're at this stage, you can use any of the tools inside of ZBrush to further refine these different wrinkles and different patterns and complete your sculpt. So if you have any additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!